Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at some of my Dutch stamps. Uh, I still have to organize these, uh, but you know, let's just take a look to see what I have. So let's start with the first edition, 1852, King William III. You can see the first stamp is the blue one, five cents. Then you get 10 cent stamps, and you get a 15 cent. And finally, we have a nice pair of the five cent stamps. Uh, so what can we say about these stamps? There's a bunch of plates. Uh, so let's take a look right here. We have the catalog and you see all the plates listed here. And it's also a bunch of colors. And if you wanna look at all the different plates, you can see it here. Very cool. Uh, that's why these stamps are uh, a little more expensive than normal stamps if they're one plate because of all the specializations you, you would do. All right, so then let's take a look at the second edition, which looks very similar to the first edition, but they're perforated. Same thing, we have three different uh, values, same colors, everything else. After that, we go to the third edition, and here things get a little more interested, interesting because from these stamps, and some of them are in bad condition, for example, you know. So I have to get a good examples for those and replace these. Uh, they're two different types. So if you look here, you can see the different types uh, in the letters, the numbers. You know, you can definitely see between five and and a 10. And these were actually also, uh, they gave a bunch of these imperforated to some uh, dealer in, uh, I think in Belgium, a bunch of stamps that were imperforated, I believe, I don't know how many, but you can find those uh, for sale. All right, and then after that, we have the, the weapon here, right, the shield. With the, with the lion. Uh, so I'm not sure why the stamp here is. This is a post device. So this is uh, a different kind of stamp. It's in the back of the book. Scott does not even list these. Uh, all right, so let's go to the next page. Again, King William III. And if you see these dot constellations, uh, so collectors will collect these and there are a whole bunch of them, 250 at least. I, I know five is Amsterdam, not sure about all the other ones. Don't have the catalog right here. So we have all these stamps and then we have a two and a half gilder, which is a nice, nice one. Next one, not so nice next to it, but this one is nice condition. Finally, we have a couple more uh, stamps here that are the, what do you call them, numbers. And these are two different types based on colors, All right. Then we go to Princess uh, Wilhelmina. She was not a queen yet because she was uh, under 18, so I believe Queen Regent Emma was in charge, was like Queen Regent until she became of age. All right, so we have these stamps. So these stamps are pretty much the same as the as the previous stamps with uh, King King William the Third. They just you know put her her face on it instead of his. And we have a nice letter here. Right. Uh, yeah. So, some more stamps. And here we have, there are two different types of these. The one gilder here. And you can tell by the golden or gilder here being thin, this one. And it's thick. 
on the on this issue so the thin one is you know it's like one it's like 150 or 125 uh, catalog value and this one is like one dollar so it's definitely you have to look for these and make sure you find the one with the thin lettering then five guilders two and a half I'm missing the ten it's a pricey one CV is I believe 950 uh, these stamps are here but they're not really belong here they are part of these stamps here but let's just go back to them again uh, so these were issued but there was a, a strike at the printer so they issued them uh, imperforated let's go back here so we just saw these these continue here on the next page let's take a look at these stamps so these stamps were issued for I believe tuberculosis and the remainder which was not sold they just cancelled them with this uh, 31st of January 1907 Amsterdam stamp uh, cancellation so all these are if you look in the catalog you will notice let's see if I all right let's take a look You will notice that it says 70, 70 euros here for uh, cancelled, but with this special cancellation, right, 31st of January, it's only like seven for the series, okay? So it's like 10 times less. So you just have to be aware if you look at this stamp and it's, it's used, make sure it does not have that cancellation. All right, this is the first non-royalty person on the stamp. And this is, the writer he was an admiral in the army he he'll he'll be on more stamps later on uh, in the 40s and then later in the 70s and 90s and 2000s and then we have the, another issue here with king william the first second third and wilhelmina missing the 10 guilders here kind of pricey all right surcharges and here we have a surcharge of 250 on a 10 gilder so i just need a 10 gilder and uh, this stamps this stamp exists with a broken second e plate flaw all right a couple more stamps i'm missing the two and a half and Five gilder here, and here we have the first. Uh, so these are called Kinderpostzegels in Dutch. So these are for it says here for a kind for the child. So these are the surcharge or the extra. Actually, these don't specify it. So there's some, an extra. Like for example, it's two plus one cent, and the one cent would go to some uh, some money that would be spent on charities for children all right so these exist these stamps with and without watermark okay so we are almost in these are the 1930s or 1920s late almost late 20s red cross stamps then we have the olympic games 1928 some more child stamps rembrandt And I believe this is Emma 
Queen Regent, which I was talking about before. Some airplanes, famous people. Some old child stamps. Famous people. Jamboree. People, child stamps, some trains, Willy Brothers, then we had uh, Queen Wilhelmina, and these four are imperforated. And then we have the builder set here. Okay, some more stamps, and then my friend likes to call these the prison stamps because it looks like the surcharges are like, uh, like you know, you're caged in. Okay, so we're almost to the Second World War. So I'll stop right at, at right after uh, the Second World War ends. So you got some. Legion stamps. So these were issued during the occupation uh, by Germany, right? So we got some Germanic symbols here, plus the, the sea heroes. Like here we go again, the racker. And that's it. And these here, we got the liberation stamps. So. Second World War ended. So I'll stop right here. I'll come back in like a few weeks or so and we'll take a look at from 1945 to maybe 1990 or something like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you find this interesting. Let me know in a comment. See you soon.